Okay, this is the 4A GZE flywheel disc and pressure plate. They are not compatible in any respect with the 212 or the 200 millimeter uh, non supercharged MR2 um, pressure plate flywheels at all. So, this is the disc on the flywheel. Putting it on the 212, you can see it overlaps the friction surface quite a bit. Um, you see a bigger diameter circle there. Um, the height of the flywheel with these risers and combination of the pressure plate makes it too big for a C-series transmission. So you cannot just um, use that with a uh, C-series disc within that, um, which sounds like a great idea until somebody on the MR2 board has, or even to, uh, Stella, or I'm sorry, uh, Corolla board might have even tried this a long, long time ago and was the first person to discover that the bell housing is here as well as the pressure plate. That means they hit. So center circle, uh, 35.5 millimeters. I measured 36 and 35.6 over there, so um, pretty similar. This basically is the uh, concentric m mating surface to the flywheel. Um, bolt holes the same, so you can swap. If you match the transmission with this flywheel clutch assembly, you can swap this onto the non-supercharged engine and it matches, it, everything mates up fine. The um, I guess the offset from the mating surface to the crank and the uh, ring gear. It's not quite flat. I believe the um, the ring gear is actually in towards the transmission side just a little bit, or in towards the motor side just a little bit more than the um, crank mounting area, mounting surface, whatever that's called. Um, but that's the same on all of these uh, flywheels. And I believe it's the same on the 2ZZ, but nobody would probably ever try to uh, mount a C or a 4A GZ E51 e flywheel to a uh, 2ZZ motor because this circle is too small. Um, I was going to attempt to put my lightweight Fidanza flywheel into the lathe open this up some and then redrill the larger bolt circle but with that amount of effort and then the uncertainty of encroaching into this tapered area I decided to not bother so you can see you can only extend a little bit outwards before you're off the edge anyway so it was not to be so this is the, that's the clutch net 4-puck uh, C-series transmission disc. Over here we have an Exidy, Exidy, I don't know how you say it, E-X-E-D-Y, uh, the pressure plate. It has single uh, fingers on the diaphragm versus the double diaphragm on this clutch net. Uh, I believe that's like the extreme plate. We have a three puck uh, disc sprung hub. You can see there's three rivets here. These are the rivets that basically hold the uh, sprung assembly, the spring assembly, to the rest of the clutch. And that's something that ClutchNet brags about is they have one, two, three, four, five, six. So six better than three, probably. Um, this just seems like a better built disc and this has actually been updated from an older design. This is a six puck used one on a, this is the Subaru. Um, I forgot what had changed.
captured on both sides. No, maybe not. I might I might be remembering something else. Um, in any respect, this this little three puck disc can obviously be used where it belongs in the GZE uh, setup for the E series transmission. Um, another thing worth noting is this uh, spline count. Let's see, is here's the alignment tool. It's the same as oh, it's a spare alignment tool. It's the same as the disc for the 3S GTE or front wheel drive V6 motors. And we'll get to the uh, V6 flywheel later. So, uh, comparison between the two discs, you'll notice the stock Toyota discs all have these rubber um, spring shock points. This has four rivets holding it together, kind of insignificant, weak looking disc, but I mean it holds. This is just much, much beefier. Thick copper plate dissipate heat. Um, I don't know if this uh, pressure plate is rated for more clamping force versus the stock one or not because the friction the pressure gets concentrated on three bucks instead of a full disc so just squeezing harder with a better material makes it handle a lot more and that this is considered a race only flywheel because it is a three puck that's not going to be pleasant in traffic um, this is the stock pressure plate versus the City. I mean, they're pretty darn similar looking. I don't know that there's anything really different about these. Maybe they have uh, I don't know. I, honestly, I don't know. But they're both going to be at the same time, same place. If you want to Photoshop, do whatever. Have fun.